Alexa, pause. We're there. We're live. Happy days. Always excited to be live. Um, so I'm just trying to close down a application on my computer. Now I'm going to just flag something up quickly so I can see what's going down. Cool. Um, okay, so I, I said I said I go live this evening a couple of minutes late, but that's, that's nothing special for me. Um, uh, yeah, I said I would go. <laughs> I said I would go live today because of something that, that occurred yesterday. It's no, it's no major big deal. Um, and I'm gonna. I, I talk and I waffle, so apologies if you get bored. I'll try and keep it as sweet and narrow and, and succinct as I can. Um, uh, but yeah, so um, I, I put up earlier that somebody had said about. Um, uh, Basically, I was, I was kind of taking things too easily, effectively, um, and everyone else was working, and I was getting all the benefit. Um, I, I, I guess I didn't take it too well, um, but it's, it's funny, you know, because actually, I don't really give a shit what, what, what kind of other people think to a degree, and let, let me kind of qualify that before it sounds too um, uh, kind of big-headed and arrogant. Um, I don't really care what other people think uh, too much about me or what I do or how I portray things. I, I really don't because I'm, I'm quite focused in kind of what I want to do. And over the, the last few years, probably the last six years or so, yeah, six, six years, seven years, um, I've actually cut quite a lot of people out of my, out of my life, friends um, and such like that that have quite a negative um, outlook and quite a negative influence. Um, and some of those, some of those were quite close friends, um, and I cut them systematically out of my life because I just didn't want that kind of negativity around me at all. I didn't, I just didn't want it there. Um, and while some people say you can just, just don't focus on it, that's fine. But when it's around, man, it's really annoying. So, so I cut, cut it out. Um, and I've uh, had people that that have worked for me that have moved on to have that kind of approach, and I've had people that work for me that I've actually got rid of. I've, I've, I've sacked because of their negativity. Um, so when uh, I'm really not too worried about what other people think about me, um, particularly, I want people to think that I'm, you know, I want people to, to, to know that I'm a nice guy and I'm genuine and I'm easygoing and, um, and, and I work hard and, and, and all those kind of things, but I really don't give a shit if people don't like it. Um, uh, I was doing tours, I guess. People asking questions about tours. I try not to digress too much. Um, but yeah, so so that's kind of that's kind of it. So I wasn't too too worried because a couple of people messaged me after I did my video this morning saying, don't you know, don't 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 explain yourself and stuff like that. And I'm not explaining myself. What I wanted to do was really reiterate a lot of messages that are already out there, um, especially by quite successful people, entrepreneurs, business people, sportsmen, anybody that's generally successful in any area. So I wanted to kind of reiterate that. Um, but specifically, I'm, I'm, I'm talking more about, I guess, the financial gains, how you afford what things that you want, because this will, this will span because um, you can kind of see these lovely Gothic windows I'll show you um, behind me. We've got lovely Gothic windows. I'll show you the windows over here. Um, in our house, which is a grade two listed property, it's glorious. Um, I've got a swimming pool just out there. I've got a gym just over there. Um, and uh, yeah, and, um, <laughs> and uh, somebody had said something um, about that because yesterday I had lots of different people working at two different prisons for, for a couple of businesses and our events company and stuff. Um, and I wanted to explain how I got to a position where I was able to afford um, this this type of stuff. Um, and actually, it's, it's, it's very easy. It's very, very simple. Um, it's really hard work. That is it. And I know that's going to sound quite anticlimactic, but it is really bloody hard work. And I mean, for the last four years, near enough to the day, in a week and a half, it'll be to, to the day, um, I have worked near enough 100 hours a week, most weeks. Not every week, but most weeks I've worked like 100 hours a week. Um, those that knew me four years ago would know that I wasn't grey, I didn't have wrinkles, I wasn't losing my hair. Um, that's all the added stress and such like that. But um, that's basically what it is. This is hard work. And I, and I, I work on a lot of things down to um, the, the rule of three. I work on threes a lot. Um, and I work on three things that drive and motivate people, um, which is which is your head in terms of what you're thinking about and what you 
the, 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 the thought process of what you want to do um, and how you're going to go about doing it. Um, the heart in the sense of uh, why, why it is you want that, like what it is that really matters to you. And then, then the gut, um, which is that the, the drive that's the get up and go and that's the real thing that I think most people miss is people look at stuff and they go I really want that like, I really in my, deep in my heart I want that I want a nice house I want a pool I want to go on lovely holidays I want to be able to buy the nice car you know I want to be able to provide everything for my family that they need that's what I want and the mindset the the the, the mind is it will, will clarify and go yeah that's 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 smart you know that's what we should have because that's that's what we want that's what we should have and then it makes sense but it's that gut it's that gut of get up and do it and it's the same for any any athlete um it is that gut that makes them get up at four in the morning and train so so hard um so that really is the bottom line um and then learning the lessons as you go along the way um it is only four years ago when i took over the jails i was we emma and myself we were just over eighty thousand pounds in debt um, uh, it was it was a lot. Eighty two thousand pounds worth of debt we had um, when we started the jails. We literally started with nothing, or with, with eighty two thousand less than nothing. Um, and four years later, we've cleared all of our debt. Um, we we owe money to nobody, um, and we have a, a very successful, thriving business that, that turns about one one point two million last year. Um, and you know we've just we've just put ourselves in a position to to buy another house. Um, so, you know, we've done, we've done, we've done very well, um, but we've worked really hard and I've worked really hard and I made a lot, a lot of sacrifices. And that's something you'll see quite a lot in my videos is sacrifices. And it's because of the sacrifices I make that I really tend not to listen too much to other people, um, in terms of when they whinge and they moan at me, I just take the negatives and I just shift it. And I just kind of get rid of it because I really don't have time for it. Um, and I don't want it in my life. Um, it's as simple as that. So, um, I guess just 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 to put that into perspective, because I don't want to waffle on for too long. Um, it, there there is a process to it as well in terms of uh, goals and how I guess you you want to position yourself. Because one one of the things that, that that I do is I do set goals, but I don't set lots of goals. I've got friends and people I know that have you know lists and lists and lists and lists of goals, loads of them. And I don't tend to do that. Again, I work on a rule of three, so I have a sh short term goals, I have medium term goals, I have long term goals. And I have three in each, and that is it. So in my short-term goals, for example, it'll be to eat well, um, literally this week. Like That's my short-term goal, to eat well this week, and that's it. To exercise four or five times this week, um, and to try not to work more than about 50 hours this week. Those are literally my short-term goals, um, and they last about five to seven days. Um, then my medium-term goals, which are going to last about six, six or seven weeks, um, are looking at, uh, at the moment, my medium-term goals are um, uh, ensuring the stability of, of, of our business day-to-day, -day, uh, making sure the marketing and advertising is there and that's flowing. Um, learning to, to play instruments at the moment is, is a medium-term goal. I've got some learning to play the piano, um, and I've just got my saxophone back out my drums back out so I'm just kind of picking those back out um, and the other one is just to do work to the house um, spend time with my family and do work to the house effectively um, and then my long-term goals um, are a little bit bigger um, one is one is the financial freedom that, that I want so not to have to worry about money for the rest of, 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 of my life and to be able to live in the style and manner that I want to live in uh, which is different to you and different to other people but that's that's one of my long-term goals um uh another one is about about my health my family's health um and that's kind of what i'm really really working on there is there is a third one but i'm not going to talk about that too much at the moment because that's something else i'm working on I'm trying to keep that quite close to my chest um and i, I just had a conversation with with hammer earlier because i said to the kids um jonah said something to me at dinner about um uh, i gave him i gave him some extra fish um and, and he asked why I did that, why I didn't have it, and I gave it to him. I said, well, because I, I wanted to give it to you, because nearly everything I do is is, is for you. And I never sort of looked at him, I was like, actually, do you know what, that's a lie. I do a lot for my kids, I really I really do, um, as any parent would. But the, the amount I work and the things I do at work and um, all the things we've been able to to have and, 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 and do have and will have, whilst the kids get the benefit from that, I think I'd be lying if I said I was doing it for them. Um, I'm not. I'm doing it because I want to do it, because I've got, I want to have the life that I want to have. 
I want them to obviously have theirs, but I'm not building something so they can kind of take it over and then go on and do that. They can find their own way in the world, just as I did. Um, and they'll have provision to be able to do that. But hell, I'm not building a business and I'm not making the money and everything that comes along with it so I can just give it to them. Well, fuck that. They can go and do that themselves. Um, I had to do that. They, they, you know, they can do that. So I'd be lying if I said I'm doing all of this for my children. I'm not. Um, and actually, I guess, do you know what? The, the, the third thing that I, that I want to do, and, 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 and it'll be interesting to see how people do this, the third thing, the third long-term goal that I have, um, I wasn't going to say it tonight, is I want to change the world. Um, and I've said this to um, my team, uh, all of my employees, I've said this to them. We are going to change the world. Um, I think they kind of took that as, oh, yeah, cool, we're going to change the world. Uh, but I mean it. I am going to change the world. I don't know how, um, and I don't know in what way. Um, ideally, in a positive way, that's my aim. Um, but that is what I want to do. And I watch loads of entrepreneurs. I watch uh, quite a lot of Gary Vee at the moment, and he's always talking about buying buying the Knicks and, and, and listening to other entrepreneurs and kind of what they want to achieve. And they throw it out there. So, you know, I'm going to do the same. I'm throwing it out there. I'm going to change the world. Um, and I don't know what form that's going to look like yet, but that's what I'm going to do. So that's one of my big long-term goals. So anyway, so for, for those people that want to know about how you afford things you want, just work bloody hard. Set yourself three goals, short, medium, long-term. Find something you love. Do what you love. Love what you do. It is that straightforward. Um, and don't let negativity and other people bring you down. Just stick with the positivity. Stick with a good mindset and just go forwards, blinkers on and just head in that direction and you will find it. Learn the lessons, admit when you're wrong, take it on the chin, learn from it and just move forwards. And, and that is really the simple keys to success. There's no magic formula, there's no tricks or anything like that. That is it. Um, I'm going to sign off now because funny enough, I'm going to... Um, one thing I do on a Sunday is I do all of my management work. My managers do it on a Monday morning, um, which is fine because that's when they're getting paid. I do mine on a Sunday evening because then by the time I get on Monday morning, I'm done and I'm ready to go. So I'm ahead of the game. Um, so that's what I'm going to go now do for the next hour and a half. Um, uh, then I'm going to get a the night and hit the gym first thing in the morning. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. I'll post up on YouTube. Um, sorry, Tom, I know you just joined. Um, and I will answer the questions that have popped up in the comments as, as we go through. So thanks for watching. Um, and uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe up to my YouTube channel. Um, follow me on Facebook. Um, and I post pretty much every day on, on Instagram. So yeah, see you soon. Thank you very much. Take care. Good night. Let's call it in the crossfire. Let's call it in the crossfire.